Hey, welcome to day two. I've got this stick that I've been working on and it's gonna have this crystal and it's gonna have this point crystal. It's working hard today. I'm not alone in the workshop today and you can hear that machine. I'm just sanding, sanding using 400 grit paper sandpaper and it smooths things out really well so after i do rough then medium this is the fine sandpaper i use so it feels really good and it works really well i already put my maker's mark and now i'm showing you the point crystal which to me looks like a unicorn horn i'm just playing with it but don't you think it looks like a unicorn horn? <laughs> okay, I did dig the space for it, and um, it only fits a certain way, so I have to put it in that way. So now I'm showing you there are five little small spheres um, that go around. They are They have a hole, so they're beads. And... The spaces are dug for both the point crystal, which is apple aura. I'm calling it a unicorn horn, but it is apple aura. Looks great and is really sparkly. <laughs> it's amazing. This is just going to be so amazing when it's complete. And then there's a tiny black tourmaline sphere that I dug a space for. This is a really good energy for for this wand. And then also this beautiful pyrite sphere. It's got um, these amazing indentations. Okay, I just glued the unicorn point. <laughs> so I gotta wait for that to dry. It's all sparkly. <laughs> now I'm going to glue the sphere, the pyrite sphere. And there's the pyrite sphere. It's very pretty. Pyrite is very heavy. And so this is going to be a top heavy wand on the py because of the pyrite. Hey, I've glued everything now. Apple Aura Crystal Point. It's really amazing looking. Got a lot of glitter and glitz to it. A black tourmaline sphere, small sphere. And a pyrite sphere, which is just broken up because pyrite is, um, is not solid. But this appears like a portal opening. I don't know if you can see there's like druzy here. It's like a mouth. So that may not mean something to everybody, but whomever gets this is going to be dimensionally attuned and may be able to utilize this key for opening portals it looks cool doesn't it i love it i love it okay i'm going to do a little bit of polyurethane at a time so i'm just doing part of it at a time and using a brush i'm speeding it up here so you don't have to listen and watch the whole thing while i uh, put the clear coat on 
it makes the color pop. Okay. okay, so that's all I need to do for now. And then let that dry while I do other things. Okay, I've got the rest of the pyrite unicorn wand. <laughs> I haven't figured out a name for it yet, but I will by the time this gets to uh, publishing. And so I'm just finishing the um, <clears throat> clear coat to the lower half of this wand. I've speeded this up a little. I'm just clear coating um, all of the bark in the lower and the lower portion of this wand because I want to finish it. Even though I am complete with this wand, it will need a tiny bit more work. So if day two is your wand, let me know. And you're going to have to be a powerful witch or wizard to handle this one. So it's got these tiny blue aqua spheres. It's got the um, ball tourmaline, the spherical tourmaline. It's very, it's small also. This uh, portal opening pyrite. And the unicorn horn apple aura point crystal. It's a quartz crystal that has been treated with nickel and gold for these colors. A aqua color, sort of a blue, green, and yellow at the base. 